looks like fresh reports are coming out today that all is not well with William and Kate. I don't know about you guys, but this seems more often since it, the stylist came out via the Telegraph, reports are now incoming. These floodgates were open when I stated that and it looks like I was correct. Hey guys, it's Marab Ali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. You know when you feel like you're gonna sneeze? Okay, it's not coming. But anyways, Kate Middleton is bracing for an inevitable heartbreak after giving in her desires to royal um, traditions, the international news reports. According to a report from In Touch Weekly from last year, a source revealed the Princess of Wales had been at odds with Prince William over choosing to send their eldest son, Prince George, to boarding school. The royal has been against the idea of the future king in waiting, following in the footsteps of the royal men before him and continuing his school at Eton. It must hit Kate hard more now than ever, owing to her diagnosis with an undisclosed form of cancer at the beginning of this year. However, the Princess of Wales reportedly put his foot down strongly to Kate Middleton in a bid to uphold centuries-old traditions despite Kate's desperate, desperate desires. The source told the outlet at the time Kate long disagreed with her husband about sending him away. Kate thinks sending him to such a stuffy, upper-crust institution goes against all of their efforts to modernise the monarchy. Plus, she'll miss George desperately. She and William argued about it for years, constantly, but he has finally won. The insider continued, but she's still heartbroken. She was horribly bullied at her first boarding school and can't bear the thought of George suffering through that. But it still seems as if her family is being torn apart. There's also the worry that William will insist the other two kids be shipped off next. Kate knows this is all part of her royal duty, they added. Now, this again is reiterating that there is tension between these two, that there has been tension between these two. And it can be your children, it can be finances, it could be, you know, affairs, anything going on within a marriage that can cause, you know, heartbreak or cracks or surfaces and again another article within 48 hours of that first article coming out saying that they're going through hell has now reiterated that but also giving us a different perspective a different angle a different alleyway to say they've been arguing about their kids now this would also make sense because the pictures of william recently seen watching the aston villa show with george the eldest son adds credence to the story for the fact that he's there with George twice. He's not there, you know, on Charlotte's birthday. He's there watch, enjoying the match. He's barely been seen. It's very beyond wild to me that there's been no photo op of Kate with the children when she's claimed that she's with him and William, but there's easily, easily events where William is seen with some of the children. Why is not William seen with Kate and the children as a collective? Why is he seen just with George or perhaps one of the children? That in itself is beyond wild to me that they can do something like that easily, but they can't. Surely, if you're seeing William with one of the children plethora of times at a football match, why is it so hard to get out a photo of? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like that is beyond wild, but yet again, Someone is feeding something to the press. There is a leak amongst the um, royal circles. Somebody is leaking information about them going through hell. I have yet to hear any of these conversations being printed out in the press prior to all of this Kate frenzy stuff. So to me, it is interesting. Is there press wars going on? Because there was one story that Kate was dropping the kids off. Then there was another story that William was doing the same thing. So, you know, they both can't be separately doing the same thing unless they're doing it together. And that hasn't been reported. So I do think there are press wars going on. William also been seen as a solo father just seen with George it is interesting but now you know William gets his way William will always get his way when it comes to something like this because he's part of the royal bloodline the king to be Kate is not going to get her way and win in this competition I think this is where Kate messed up because she was there smiling and cheesing when everything was going with Meghan Markle and you know wasn't doing the best to protect her when she had suicide ideation mental health issues she said nobody around could help me nobody offered xyz and so she thought listen this shit's happened to Megan, it ain't my business, she's doing X, Y, Z. If Camilla is still around here, I can be like her and whatever. But she didn't realize that just because it happened to Megan, it can also happen to you as well in some kind of form. And I feel like that is what is happening here, where she's basically being shunned in every single exit. Another bad press story about her in the past week, guys. It's been like four or five stories. And the fact that she lost, it says, the fact that she was, has, you know, was desperate, but the fact that they've been arguing nonstop, they're also arguing for a lot of time. There's a lot of information you can infiltrate from this article that, you know, there is severe tension between these two and they're just not getting on on several pages. If it's not them arguing about the children and what they should do, it's 
always about some type of UK press putting in Rose Hanbury and some alleged affair that is going on, or for the fact that we've barely seen Kate and William was barely visiting her. William barely visiting her, William not there with the cancer AI video, William not even in the room when it was filmed, he wasn't sitting on the bench with her, William now arguing gets his way, William is seen, you know, not with her. Like, it just shows that this man is so disengaged with this woman and the cracks are so apparent to see. Subscribe to the channel guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I did say to you guys, when that stylist spoke to the Telegraph about them going through hell, that the floodgates were open and this is going to beginning. And look what happens in 48 hours. Another story has come out on May the 5th, 2024, that they are bracing for major heartbreak. That's what it's basically called. What heartbreak is taking place? Is it, are they hinting at something? It makes you think guys, because it's been reported everywhere. Subscribe to the... There we go, I knew it was there. I knew I had to sneeze. Oh my god. Anyways, subscribe to the channel guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Apologies for the sneezing. I knew it was there somewhere guys, I just knew it. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.